Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Kapil Gupta Career Pod show where we dive into all things related to education, careers and self growth. And I am your host Kapil Gupta and today we are talking about a critical element of college applications that can make or break your chances. Letters of recommendation. Now many students focus on grades, entrance exams and personal statements, but they forget how powerful a well written letter of recommendation can be now whether you are aiming for colleges in india or abroad having a great recommendation can set you apart from the crowd but how do you ensure that your teacher or counselor writes you a glowing letter so in this podcast we'll explore why colleges ask for recommendations when to ask for them and who should write them how to get a detailed personal letter plus some practical tips to ensure everything goes smoothly so whether you are preparing to apply to college or just curious about what makes a letter of recommendation so valuable keep listening Hello all. I'm Kapil Gupta, founder of Study Abroad Academy. I'm on a mission to coach and mentor 100,000 high school students and help them realize the dream of studying in the best universities of the world and build happy and successful careers for themselves. So today, I'm going to answer four important questions related to letters of recommendation and share a few additional tips. So I believe all of you are ready to note them down. So let's get started. and if you need to pause the podcast note down please do that so let's start with the most basic question why do colleges even ask for letters of recommendation now colleges aren't just interested in your grades and test scores they want to know about the real you the kind of student you are how you interact with your peers and what makes you unique now while your academic performance is essential it only tells part of the story so letters of recommendation provide context and insight into your character motivation and personality offering colleges a broader perspective of who you are one show talent beyond test scores a letter of recommendation helps admission officers understand the qualities that don't show up in your report card now are you a team player do you take initiative do you help your classmates your teachers can highlight these aspects and secondly describe real life examples teachers can share real life stories about you whether it's a project you excelled in a time you demonstrated leadership or how you improved over time now these examples make you come alive on paper and thirdly discuss your relationships colleges are interested in how you fit into an academic community letters of recommendation can describe how well you work with others interact with your teachers and handle challenges so that's why colleges value these letters so much so it gives them a peek into your personal side that test scores and essays just can't show but now that you know why they are important let's talk about timing that is when is the right time to ask for a letter of recommendation now well the earlier the better teachers are busy and writing a good recommendation letter takes time ideally you should approach your teacher at the start of your senior year or even in your 11th grade especially if you're applying for early decision so here's why timing is crucial first give teachers enough time Don't spring the request on your teacher the last minute. Give them at least a month's notice. The more time they have, the better and more thoughtful the letter will be. Then be polite and organized. When you ask, make sure to provide all the necessary information like the deadlines for each college. Teachers appreciate students who are organized and respectful of the time. So remember, the earlier you ask, 
the more likely you'll get a letter that truly reflects your strengths. So, all right, now comes the big question. Who should you ask to write your recommendation letter? So, colleges are usually very specific about who they want letters from. So, here are a few options. Core subject teachers. Colleges typically want letters from teachers in core academic subjects like maths, science, English or social studies. These teachers know your performance in important subjects that form the foundation of most degree programs. Then recent teachers. Choose a teacher you have had recently, preferably in your 11th or 12th grade. You don't want a teacher from 9th grade because colleges want to know who you are now not who you were years ago. So, counsellors or advisors. In some cases, a school counsellor may be asked to provide a recommendation. Counsellors can offer a broader view of your academic journey and character. And then additional references. Sometimes you might want to submit additional recommendations from people like coaches employers or club advisors. Now, they can provide insight into your leadership, teamwork and extracurricular involvement. Always ask the admissions office if it's okay to submit these extra letters. Now, the key is to choose someone who knows you well and is enthusiastic about writing your letter. Don't just choose a teacher because they are well known. Choose someone who has a good relationship with you and will put effort into the recommendation. So, how do you get a letter of recommendation that makes you stand out? So, here's the thing. Many teachers write dozens of recommendations letters every year. And while teachers don't mean to, these letters can sometimes feel generic after a while. But don't worry. You can help your teacher write a detailed and glowing recommendation by making it easy for them. So, here are some tips. Talk about your participation. Before they write your letter, sit down with the teacher and talk about your contributions in their class. Were you an active participant? Did you lead any group projects? These are things your teacher might not remember. So it's important to remind them. Then share your best work. Bring up a project or assignment you excelled at. Explain why it was important to you, how you approached it and what you learned from it. Now this gives your teacher specific examples to include in the letter. Then highlight your growth. If you started off struggling in their class but worked hard and improved, make sure to mention that. Teachers love to talk about students who demonstrate growth and resilience. Then provide a resume or list. It can be really helpful to provide your teacher with a resume or list of achievements. Now this can include your extracurricular activities awards and interests. It makes the job easier and ensures they don't forget any important details. And by having this conversation and giving your teacher the right tools, you're setting yourself up for a strong and detailed letter. So, if your application requires a counsellor recommendation, the process is a little different. Counsellors often have bigger caseloads than teachers and they might not know you as well personally. But that's okay. Here's how you can make sure you get, get a good letter. First, schedule a meeting. If possible, set up a meeting with your counsellor. Use this time to discuss your skills, accomplishments and future goals. Now this gives them a better understanding of who you are beyond your academic record. Then, address any challenges. So, if you've had any difficulties during high school, like low grades or personal challenges, discuss these with your counsellor. You can include context in the letter about how you have worked to overcome obstacles, which can be very persuasive to admission officers. And third, stay positive and professional. Remember, counsellors are writing letters for many students, so be respectful of their time. Provide them with any necessary documents and deadlines in an organized manner. And now that we have covered the main points, let's look at a few additional tips to ensure your recommendation letter process goes smoothly. 
वेव योर राइट टू व्यू द लेटर येस वेर यू सबमिट योर कॉलेज एप्लीकेशन यूल ऑफन बी आस्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वेव योर राइट टू व्यू द लेटर इट्स अ गुड आइडिया टू वेव दिस राइट बिकॉज एडमिशन ऑफिसर्स ट्रस्ट अनसीन लेटर्स मो इट शोज द लेटर इज ऑनेस्ट एंड अनबायस्ड डबल चेक ई मेल्स इन डेड लाइन्स मेक श्योर दैट योर टीचर हैज द करेक्ट ई मेल एड्रेस ऑफ द एडमिशन ऑफिस एंड ऑलवेज प्रोवाइड दैम विद द डेड लाइन्स फॉर ईच स्कूल पोलाइटली फॉलो अप यूज योर एप्लीकेशन पोर्टल टू कीप ट्रैक ऑफ सबमिशन इफ अ डेड लाइन इज अप्रोचिंग एंड यू नोटिस दैट योर लेटर हैज इन बीन सबमिटेड येट इट्स ओके टू सेंड अ पोलाइट रिमाइंडर इन से थैंक यू वंस योर लेटर्स आर सबमिटेड डोंट फर गेट टू से थैंक यू अ हार्ट वेल थैंक यू नोट कैन गो अ लॉन्ग वे एंड वंस यू मेड योर कॉलेज डिसीजन लेट योर टीचर्स एंड काउंसलर नो वेयर यूर हेरिट दिल एप्रिशिएट the update and there you have it a detailed guide on how to get a great letter of recommendation that can help you get into the college of your dreams so letters of recommendation are about more than just having someone say nice things about you they offer a glimpse into your character work ethic and potential and all of which are essential for a successful college application so by choosing the right person giving them plenty of time and providing helpful information you'll set yourself up for a letter that truly shines so if you have questions suggestions or just want to say hello feel free to reach out i'm here to help and engaging meaningful conversations with you so there's a link in the description of the podcast that can help you connect with me so thank you for tuning in to the kapil gupta career pod show and if you found value in the podcast help us reach more listeners by sharing with your friends family and colleagues who might benefit from our discussions so until next time this is kapil gupta signing off good luck with your applications and remember your potential is limitless